We move on to race number 10. That's our next race we're going to preview, and it is the second last on the program this week. It's over the 1,200 metres, and it's a Class 3 event. That's a good one at that. Trillion win, top of the book, goes up nine pounds for a senior rider. Quadruple double has a seven pound claim. Juno you know, Park comes back in trip. Mr. Caliphal makes his Hong Kong debut. He was a two time winner in New South Wales, over 1,000 and 1,100 at Hawkesbury. Big Brook hasn't raced since June. Biz Power, he's placed six from nine track and distance. Daly Beauty has all form class four and decisive 12. Very unlucky last time when he was badly held up. So we move from that uh, to the speed map on race number 10 here, Tom. And poor old decisive 12 will be hoping that he doesn't get in behind them once again. Yeah, you're hoping so. And uh, look, I don't know if he's potentially going to end up the leader here or not, Paul, because Quadruple Double is a horse that we know in the, the race that uh, has got a lot of uh, gate speed. He's a horse that goes well fresh also. And he could push forward here. Decisive 12 was a little bit slow out in his most recent trial. Mm. Yeah, he was, wasn't he? And uh, look, he's been awkward out in, in his races as well. So uh, I think Quadruple Double will cross him and end up going to the front. If Decisive, I don't think Decisive 12 will want to get into a speed battle. I think Trillion Win will get a good run just in behind. Big Fortune's another one that can go on the pace as well. All right, one horse so we didn't talk about there but was midfield on the speed map was Pleasant Endeavour. Derek Long is riding really well. The horse has won two from three and Ed Sadler tracked him down at track work. Derek Pleasant Endeavour, you've got a really good record on this horse. When he won last time out, he took a while to get to the front but did you always think he was going to win? Well, I think he had a good chance last time and he in a good, good shape last time and... He just carried a three-year-old and he carried the top way is quite quite difficult for him and finally he did it and but he had a tough one last time so in the morning he felt like more laid back more relaxed more mature and the trial is okay just easy trial and hope he have a good one next what, tomorrow. A, what about stepping up in class this time Derek? Well I think the step up the class is no problem for him and the light race is going to help him just depends how much he recovered uh, like last time. So you're two from two on the horse. Do you like him, Derek? Yes, I like him. He's a very professional horse. He used to ride in the morning in the race too. And on the, in the future, I think he, he, he can handle 14 or even mile. And your own season, 35 wins for the season. So even though we've still got a few months left, you're ahead of your total from last season. Do you think you're riding as well as you ever have? Yes, I've been going very good and very smooth this season. I would like to thank you all the support, like China and the owners, and I will just keep working hard. Is there any reason you're getting better rides? Are you performing better yourself? Why do you think you're going better this season? Well, I try to be more consistent and more stable and just work hard, try to get less mistakes and why winners. Paul, he's uh, sustained that uh, run of good uh, riding over the last several months. It hasn't been up and down for him at all. He's just been going great guns. Uh, he's riding really well at the moment. He's a little bit of an underrated rider because Vincent Ho's been getting all the uh, accolades because he's been riding Golden 60 and, and he's, he's been riding well. But Derek's, look, he's been toiling away behind and he's really getting the rewards now. And just looking at his uh, horses that we've got going through, you can see them on screen there. We just talked about Pleasant and Denver, uh, Pleasant and Denver. And, um, Tom, two from three, he looks like a nice horse. He certainly does. He looks a, a real professional type that uh, looks like he's got a lot of scope and he can certainly progress uh, forwards. Uh, Derek, he's had a, a great season so far. He had 29 winners last season at 5.16, but this season he's going into 7.94 and he's already 10 million basically over what he earned last year too. I think his career best is 36 in Hong Kong, so he's one behind that, but he'll certainly beat it the way he's going. On to some replays and Tom Trillion win. The horse that beats him is a length and a half in front here, and that's Courier Wonder, so this is excellent form. Yeah, and he looks like he could be an absolute superstar, does the Courier Wonder. You can see he's just slightly held up for the, the gap there, but now the gap sort of presents itself here at the, the 200 metres. He's able to angle into the clear. Courier Wonder only on this occasion won by half a length, and uh, Trillion win was close in the margin late. Courier Wonder not fully pressed, but... My concern was, Paul, uh, just the, the big weight he's got to carry here, 133 pounds compared to a few of the others in the race. Yeah, he's quite a big horse, so I think that the weight's not going to be a problem. And as you say, that that uh, form looks red hot because he did, uh, Courier 1 just came out and destroyed a field after that.
And Manfred Mann stable is in great form as well. Decisive 12 here, Paul, was travelling beautifully. Unfortunately, there was just no room. No, there wasn't. And look, but this horse does a few things wrong. He's missed the start on trials and he can be like half a length behind them. And I think that's that's the key for him. He needs to jump well from barrier four. As you can see, he didn't get as much room there. Once he got into the clear, he did finish off nicely enough. So he do, And he's one that does come in well at the weights. I thought he was a tragedy beaten here last uh, time out. Um, just didn't get any luck at all in the straight. Now, in his most recent trial, he, he missed the start by probably a length and a half or so. And then he, when he got back up into a, a position that he was familiar with, he got quite keen in the running. But he, he still finished off well. I think he's probably the horse to beat in the race. There was money for him that day also. Down the straight comes Mr Colourful here, Tom. He's a newcomer and is in the Tony Cruz barn. He's come from the Gary and John Moore barn over in Australia. He had, had uh, a couple of wins over there at uh, Hawkesbury. And uh, look, his most recent win was going back to uh, December of uh, 2020. You can see him. He was up on the speed in this trial. I think he's got sufficient speed to put himself for somewhere in the race this time round. Punched out a little bit over the final stages, but nothing of any great concern there, Paul. Happy to see him go, though. Yeah, me too. I haven't got him in. 11.57 pounds. He's had the three trials, but uh, I don't know if he's quite there yet. OK, so I know Mr Calliville for you, Paul, of the other 11. Who is on top? Yeah, I like Trillium Win. I just think this horse is uh, going places. His 1,000 metre win was very strong. Uh, he had a couple of runs there, and now he's stepped up to 1,200 and won uh, that second behind Curia Wonder looks uh, really good. I think he's uh, too good for this field. He's on top, decisive 12, does the things wrong. He's got to do everything right. Uh, that's the key from barrier four. There's an endeavour. He's done nothing wrong. He's two from three, and up to 1,200 was good for him. Another horse who has done a few things uh, wrong at the start, Tornado Twist. He just he's got a really good finish on him though. He's a well rated horse. He's in there for fourth. One eleven, nine and four. I think that decisive 12 can bounce back here. He's only finished out of the top four on one occasion, and if I think he gets any luck in the running, he'll be tough to beat. Uh, ahead of Pleasant Endeavour, who's won two from three, looks quite progressive. Trillion win. We know the Manfred Man stable's in really good form at the moment. Zach Purton jumps on board him, and of the rest, Tornado Twist, better runs from him recently. It was at the rear and got a little bit keen, but he did make ground last time out. He's drawn gate three with Vincent Ho. Thought he could run a place anyway. 11-9, 1-4.